Hey, it's Donnell. I am working on my ombre skills and I wanted to work on some ocean themed nails and I've been practicing and I've did a couple of different things. It's, the white isn't showing up on my little beachy scene. This kind of doesn't go. And then I matte top coated these and then shiny top coated that one. They're cute. And while I wanted subtle, it's a little too subtle. And I had also done these. And I really like these. I don't like my kitty on this one either. And this one I smudged all up. So we're working on it. All right, so I've already did one. So what I'm using is 7-in-1 Potion Base Coat B457 from Maniology. I put one solid coat on each of these, even though you can't tell. Oh, I dang that. It'll probably be covered up with something. So I found these little sponges, these little square sponges on, I don't know if it was AliExpress maybe. I've only ordered from them once and I think this is one of, I got a bag of these little square, but they don't feel quite as absorbent as, um, some of the makeup sponges. So I put one coat of this as a base coat down and then I'm using, I'm going to be using this and Blue Ribbon B455 for the water and it makes it, it looks really blue, but it makes it this really nice kind of teal color. And the inspiration from this is my swimming pool and it has a beach entry and Right, so I just put a layer of the base coat down and then I'm just going to do a thin layer of the blue. And because these weren't absorbent, I'm not going to dab it off this time like you normally would. Let's see how it goes. It does start off very subtle. And I don't want to overdo it, so... Covering the whole thing in this potion base coat. And another coat of the blue. I'm trying to learn not to over dab because that, um, I kind of messed that up. I got the blue really far down. It's okay. I'll make it work. I tend to overdo it and that just, when you overdo it, you just pick the paint back up like I just did. I'm just going to go right in with this one. And now I'm going to pop back to that one.
Okay. So it's, they're still not completely dry, but they're dry enough for me to take the base coat and I'm going to put a pretty big glob over it. I want that kind of murky. Look. I said it reminds me of my pool and I know it looks like beach. But I'll show you why. I'll pop in a picture if I remember. I have a beach entry pool. So the shallow and you just can walk into it it's only a couple inches deep you can just sit in it and it's great so the water is more of a lighter color and then of course as you get deeper it goes darker so i have that little dot right there i'm gonna see actually i'm gonna take no, I'm just making it worse. That one was so good, too. So I do really like how this comes out. I, I just, I really like how the 7-in-1 potion base coat changes this really kind of bright pale blue. I know bright and pale, but that's what it is. It changes it into this beautiful turquoise -y color. So I'm going to slowly move the camera up. All my nail swatches are hanging in the window, but you'll kind of get like a little bit of an idea. You can see the swimming pool and you can see like right here how it's kind of just the, where it's really shallow. So it's a lighter color and then it goes and then it goes all the way across, but it gets much deeper. And then there's turtles in the pool, the bottom of the pool, some like tiles and you can see one here, and then there is another one over there, but it's behind that swatch stick. I'll take a full picture so you can see. But that is my beautiful view. I'm lucky to have this um, right in my living room, big windows, and I have enough room in here to also have my nails, my little nail area so I can look out the window. So, not perfect, but they don't need to be. They're good. So I'm going to use plate M500. And I want I wanted this to be much more simple than the other one. So stamping in white doesn't show up very good on here. Stamping in black is too harsh. So I was thinking about using one of these blues. They're both a little... Um, translucent maybe I should say so I did a practice pickup with one and it's the ship I'm not going to stamp it on I'm just going to show you what it would look like this little scene but it just really makes it pop more but I don't know if I want the blue
Oh, I forgot to say I um I'm stamping with Delirium B233 because I don't want the black to be so harsh. And I did try white, but that did not show up very well on these this ombre gradient, I should say. So Delirium has this really purple, bluish. Mm. Treasure chest is so cute. I'm not going to be able to get all that on an owl, but we'll see what we can get. Could put it up here and put some other stuff at the bottom. And because I put the um, 7 and one potion base coat on pretty thick, it's not... Um, I really didn't need a sticky base coat. The lines on the chest got a little bit blurry. Or thinned out. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pop a little... Um, A little shell down there. I don't think, yeah, they won't both fit. Okay, I do like that though. All right, I gotta incorporate this sea turtle scene. But I don't want the kitties. I really like the kitties, but they're just not going with um, my plan for this. And that's kind of where I made the mistake. I kept thinking, oh, I'll just pop one of the kitties on. And it just, the two aesthetics just weren't going together. Let's see what I can get out of this. of the turtle. His, his neck got separated. Oops. Sorry, turtle. I may be able to do quick surgery. Let's see if I can actually pull it off. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. Okay, not really, not really. <laughs> but he, uh, that's... He's just going to be a crooked neck turtle. Sorry, turtle. Sometimes that happens. Where's that little shell I had? I saved the shell. Because I'm going to pop that down there. 
And I want some bubbles up top to maybe cover some of those little boo-boos. Or it might just accentuate them more, I don't know. My poor turtle. Poor little turtle head. It's all right. Of course, we're gonna have some of the waves on a nail. Excuse me. Usually I really like the wave, but this time I'm just kind of like, meh, it's okay. I guess maybe because it's, it looks a lot darker because it's much thicker lines. I put some seaweed down. Yep, popping it right over that boo boo. All right, let's go. The seaweed's facing the opposite way, so let's do this one. making all the mistakes we're just gonna do some fish I don't know like I don't want the characters are like I have a whole nother idea because they're just like a little cutesy type deal so that's kind of why I don't want them right now like the octopus and the seahorse and all that they're just I mean, I love them. They're, they're cute, but I'm not going for super cute to you right now. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. So I'm using, um, the blue onyx acetone the soak off acetone and because it has um i think it because it says it's enriched with vitamin e and grapeseed oil um the coconut one i find that it it leaves more of a film over the plates and makes them fog up easier so i usually try to have just regular the onyx brand just the regular 100 percent pure the other one's 100 percent pure but it has the additives this one doesn't have any additives but it's empty so I find that works better for keeping the plate clear of the fog. I'm just trying to see where there's a little collective of bubbles. Like right here. So you may be able to hear two things in the background a few minutes ago. One is my dog snoring. And... One is my husband talking on the phone. He's not talking right now, but he was a few moments ago.
it's kind of mm. I might squeeze in a little bit more of the seaweed right there on that edge. Just looks kind of blank. Oops. And so this is what we ended up with. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 7-in-1 patient, 7-in-1 potion base coat again. And I'm going to go over the top to give it kind of that like milky, murky, washed out look. Well, at least it did with some of the other colors I tried. So hopefully it'll kind of do the same thing. smudged it didn't smudge earlier when I did it maybe I need to let it dry for longer or I'm gonna pop on some aqua topper which I don't like glue using I don't know why it feels like it's Just don't I just don't care for it. But I don't want everything all smudgy. Which when I did this earlier with my original set, my practice set, I mean this is a practice set too. It didn't it didn't smudge when I put this over it, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll be back when these are dry to finish putting the base the base coat over the top and then um, top coating all right I am back and I think the aqua topper has dried enough for me to go ahead and ooh, put the seven and one base coat on to kind of soften up things I can see the difference. Um, I don't know how much of a difference you can see on the camera. It's still sad that I broke my turtle's neck. All right, there's that. And again, it's super subtle. I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely softened this one up. So I think they're really cute. I need to let this fully dry and then I need to top coat. And I, I can't decide between matte 
and shiny. I think I might go with shiny. All right, here we go. Nice and shiny. 